of Dana versus makeup. And this time around, I think what my big problem was last time was I was trying to do the makeup while I looked at the camera and held the mirror and it just wasn't working for me. So I think what I'm going to do is this time I'm going to show you what I'm using and then I'm going to use my handy dandy mirror right here. Hey, look, now you can see what's on the wall around me. Interesting. Anyway, I'm going to use my mirror so that I can actually focus on what I'm doing here versus over here. Um, it might work. It might not work. Well, I guess we'll see. Okay, so um, a lot of the things that I'm using, um, I don't really know what they're used for because like this is rose water mist revitalizing rose mist and apparently it has rose extracts raspberries and strawberries in it and the reason why I don't really know what I'm doing with these these products that come out of the store is because my sister um, she typically makes all of my beauty products so I don't use a traditional moisturizer my sister makes um, a moisturizer for me um, that is amazing I mean it's absolutely amazing living in Arizona we have a very dry climate and one of my biggest pet peeves is that when I'm in Arizona I'm dry all the time like I could basically live in a tub of lotion and I would never have enough moisture my skin is just constantly dry so my sister made this moisturizer for me um, and it works. It works great. Like I can put it on in the morning and by the time I, I go to bed at night, I still feel like a human being. I don't feel like I'm all dried out and whatnot. Um, now when I'm on the East coast, I have to be careful when I use it because in my, my, where my dad lives on the East coast, the humidity is so intense that if I use too much of it, then all of a sudden I'm breaking out. So typically what I'll do is I will put it on and then I for, I, I won't have to put it on for another day or two um, just because the humidity is so intense. Um, but that wonderful humidity also causes problems. Like in Arizona, my hair is great. I don't have any problems with it. My hair there, I'm washing it more frequently because of the humidity. It gets more oily faster. Um, it's really a pain in the ass. So anyway, this says that you close your eyes and spray six to eight inches away from face can be used as a toner or an on the go facial mist to be applied throughout the day as needed. I'm thinking once I get all this stuff on my face, I'm not going to want to spray it with something. So we are going to try it. Now this is a brand new bottle. All right, so as soon as my sister sees this video, I'm probably gonna have a new bottle of this. But for now, I'm gonna use Su... Whatever, I don't know what that is. Can you see that? It's from New York. Oh, it smells pretty good. I've already sprayed it like into the air. And it smells really good, so here we go. Um, yeah, I would say now my face is wet. It kind of feels like, you know, those misters you hang from your roof, like it during the summertime to kind of cool it down a little bit. Um, that's what it feels like. Just kind of, it feels more like you just walked in, through a mister at like Home Depot or Lowe's or something in the garden section. It's kind of weird, but it smells good. All right. So next I am going to be using this skin primer. Look, my light is so intense. There it is. There it is. Um, so one of my big complaints the other night was that I felt like my skin was suffocating. Um, one, because I'm not used to wearing that much makeup. Um, and two, I just, I don't know, like I just felt like it wasn't, I, I didn't have enough to breathe with. See, look, I'm looking into my phone again. Um, 
But this says that it's a skin primer, it's lightweight, and that it's supposed to leave you with breathable skin. Um, I hope that's the case because I do want to, I do want to wear the makeup. Um, it's beautiful makeup and I think that with some practice, I will get good at it. Um, but not if it's gonna come at the cost of suffocating my skin on a daily basis, that's for sure. And this is not the unique face primer, obviously. Um, it didn't come in my kit that I got today, which was kind of disappointing. Um, but that's okay. I'll get some. I will get some. It actually, it actually feels really good. Um, it's almost like, like a moisturizer. Um, I could probably wear this by itself and be happy. And it doesn't really have, it kind of has a little bit of a, like a pinkish tint to it, um, but not like makeup pink. Does that make sense? Maybe. And of course, my skin is like, what are you doing to me? So it's turning red again. Can you see my, no, okay, I can see it. All right. All right, so next I am going to use the eye primer and this is the unique eye primer. I actually really liked this and they sent me, look now I'm all, I'm all blurry. I don't know what's going on with my phone. It's like it doesn't want to cooperate. Um, I really did like this and they sent me this free sample with the um, eyeshadow kit that I purchased. Um, and then I got some more this morning with the kit, my starter kit. And um, I, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. And I can tell you, like my friend was telling me that she loved it and that it was the best thing ever. Um, and I can tell you that it's the truth. It's like the best thing ever. Um, to the point where they sent me some this morning and I'm like, you know what, if anything, I'm going to make sure I always have this in my bag of tricks. Um, oh, I totally forgot I had a bunch on there. Well, look at me. Now I'm being wasteful. That is something I don't normally do. All right. Well, who knows? Maybe I'll... Now, instead of a jackhammer... I'll need a wrecking ball to get the eyeliner off of my eyes. All right, so I believe I am primed. I feel like I'm painting a wall. <laughs> All right, so my, um, my mini monster who on Tuesday told, was telling me some nonsense about uh, concealer. Um, I'm going to take her advice and I'm going to conceal these bags that I have underneath my eyeballs here. And I won't lie. I mean, you could go, you can go on a round the world trip with the luggage I carry under my eyes. It's genetic. Oh. Oh, look at that. Now I'm... Now I'm yellow. Is that a, that's about the right word to call that, right? Yellow? Oh, and that was not... Oh, gosh. Oh, I'm making a mess. Hold on a second. All right. So, that was not part of the unique... Um, yeah, I can see how maybe it's gotten rid of it. This was from Clinique. Uh, this came from my friend Wendy in Orlando. I finally used it. <laughs> so, and then this morning I went and I got some Maybelline 
I don't know if you can see that. Maybelline, it's called Liquid Mousse. It wants to look at my face more than anything. Um, Liquid Mousse Airbrush Finish. And I got this nude beige, because um, I honestly don't know what color I am. And uh, I, I figured that Unique probably wasn't going to send me um, some uh, foundation because one of the questions that they didn't ask when I got my starter kit was uh, what color my skin was, what tone am I, and honestly, I don't know. Um, well, right now, I'm kind of yellow, red, and uh, blotchy, no. <laughs> So anyway, so I went and I got this uh, nude beige because my, my face is pretty naked and beige is the color I used when I was in high school. And since it's January, I have no color in my skin. So hopefully it'll work. Here's to, here's to hoping. And it's got to be better than that stuff I used on Tuesday. It's pretty light. Like, it doesn't feel heavy. I don't feel like I've got a ton of stuff on my face. How does that look? Do I look... I, I think I'm kind of getting more white. <laughs> I don't even know. I wouldn't even call it white, really. I would call it, like, pale. Almost sickly. Not that, I mean, not that pale people are sick. My daughter has very, very fair scare skin. And she's not sick. She just, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to stop before, while I'm still ahead. Right. So let's do this. See how it kind of looks dark right now? And then as I start, like, spreading it out, it almost like takes on another color all together. All right, let me finish spreading this out. All right, so now I feel, I just, I feel like I've taken all the color out of my face. I don't know if it's just the light is so intense and I look like I've become a ghost. Um. So I might add a little bit of that powder I was using the other day. Just, just a little bit. Okay, so I feel like maybe the Nude Beige by Maybelline was too light. And this other powder that I have is a little bit on the dark side. But they kind of, they kind of balance themselves out once you mix them together. So, I may just have to look through the catalog later tonight and see what color I want it to be. Somewhere between beach, or somewhere between lake season and snowbird. <laughs> That'll be perfect. All right, so. All right, what do you think so far? So far, now I'm like a blank canvas. Yeah, maybe, maybe. All right. Okay, so before I forget, because I was just looking through all my stuff, trying to get everything ready. This is the eye primer. So if you go to the Unique website, this is the eye primer that you want. Um, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. It held on, like I, so Tuesday I applied the um, eyeliner. I, well, I put on the mascara. It took me six of my makeup remover, um, which I, I've been using the Equate makeup remover pads from Walmart. 
um, I had to use six of them and I actually ended up having to get them wet. So I put some hot water on them just to kind of get them moist so that they would suds up a little bit more. And then I really went to it. And even after that, so on Tuesday, I washed my face, Wednesday, I washed my face. It was this morning that I finally got all of the eyeliner off. That's how incredible this eye primer is. I mean, it's like once you put it on, it's going to hold. It's going to keep that there and you are going to be amazed. And what I think I'm going to do, one of the ideas that I thought of was instead of washing my eyes tonight, what I would do is I would just leave it alone and then do like a today and then first thing in the morning picture. I think that would be pretty fun. Okay, so this is the Ombre Lip and Smoky Eye. We're going to do it again. So this is round two. Like I said at the beginning, we're going to use the Moonstruck Addiction Shadow Palette. This is the one with all the pretty colors. This is the one with the Irate, also known as Black that gave me that crazy black eye. I've been doing some some research, remember? I said that, so. Anyway, we're going to get started. So, the first color we're gonna do is Smitten, and that's the one that I really like. I could probably wear that anywhere, at any time. I swear if my, all right. Yeah, if my head wasn't attached, I would have lost it a long time ago. Yeah. So far, so good. Oh. <laughs> All right, so for the second part, which is the irate, I'm going to try this liner shader brush. Okay, it talks about using an angled brush, and that's pretty angled. And I'm I'm hoping with a little bit less, it'll make it a little bit more. So we'll see. All right, here comes irate. This is the black. I'm a little bit scared. Now, what I saw was that I should have my eye open because this just goes in the crease. So I'm hoping, I hope, here we to go. Here's the hoping. So there's the crease in my eye. That looks a little less frightening. Yeah. Can you see it? <laughs> it's in the crease. Now this is the unique uh, angled brush that I'm using. And I, it's definitely got more of a defined angle than the other brush that I was using. Um, some of the brushes that I got from Walmart are really good and some of them aren't as precise. And experience or lack thereof definitely plays a role in applying cosmetics, that's for sure. And I am definitely lacking in the experience department, so. Okay. 
All right, so there it is. I've probably taken it out a little extreme, but we'll see. All right, so the third color is the Accent Shadow, which is Tickled. I'm gonna put that all over. All right, and I I really like this tickled color. I think that it's really, really great. Um, and I think that you could wear it, like, you could even probably wear it, like, just by itself with a little bit of something. You know, like if you were just going to work because you don't work at home in your pajamas most of the time. Yeah, since I started my YouTube channel, I, I get dressed more often, which is nice. I mean, you know, sometimes I think I get more pro more achieved on the days where I get dressed like normal people. And some days I'm so thankful that I can hang out in my pajamas. All right, and the next color is ecstatic, which I will be ecstatic if I get this right. Hey buddy, you're okay. Come on in. All right, and then, and then it says, that's my rabbit niece. I think she has a cold. She's been making funny noises. It says to blend. So I am going to use the unique blending brush. I'm going to blend. We're going to see how this comes out. All right. So there's my blended eye. And there's my not so blended eye. Let me see if I... There we go. Now it's like regular light. But you still can't really see that very good. I'm not digging that black eye. so funny. All right. I actually think it's getting better, like with the blending. I can hear the guys outside working on the truck. It's pretty funny. And then I was looking for my brush and I'm like, looking, 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 and it's right behind me. It's kind of funny. At least I thought it was funny. All right. Let me finish up this eye. All right. So I know that the ring light is really, really intense. And so I just don't think it's really showing like a lot of the real colors that's going on. So what I'm gonna do is at the end, I'll take like a picture and put it into the video so you guys can see what's going on. So now what I've been waiting for, the exciting part is the new uh, 3D eyelashes, which first, I'm going to use the Unique Eyelash Comb and Brow Brush um, because I've noticed I've got a lot of like foundation and the other stuff plus the eyeshadow so I just want to clean up my eyelashes a little bit before I go putting more stuff on. See look you can even, there's the eyeshadow. 
or old mascara. Who knows what that was, but I'm glad I decided to clean them because I really want to try to make this work right. And then my eyelash, my eyebrows, which are naturally very, very bushy. is there look at that like right in the crack of my eye it's like that luggage wanted to pick up some more clothes <laughs> no we're traveling light this year all right all right so then Okay, so this is what I've really been excited about. Like, I have been watching the girls back east put this on and take lots of pictures, and I just, I couldn't wait to get mine. Um, and it's the Moodstruck 3D Fiber Lashes Plus, fortified with uplift, vitamins B, C, and E. Enriched, oh, that's in another language that I don't speak. Transplanting gel. So, and not only does it come in this cool little package, but it also comes with directions. Okay, now let me tell you, I know more about what I'm doing with a power drill or a table saw than I know what I'm doing with this. And I hope, I hope that it's encouraging to my other power drill table saw ladies to experiment experiment there's no reason why just because we can build a house and change the gasket on an oil pan uh we shouldn't be able to be pretty too which you know we are with or without all the stuff but anyway um go ever wherever your mood takes you subtle or sassy defiant or classy mood struck 3d fiber lashes plus is a revolutionary lash enhancer built build your mood one coat at a time to flaunt your inner beauty to the world girl if we're going inner beauty there's not enough lashes to contain me so anyway, the inside of the packaging is pink, which is cool. I really like that they are using like, Dad, yeah. Help with drill? I gotta go help with the drill. All right, so as easy as one, two, three, that's what it says. Right there, one, two, three. So. Step one, apply an even coat of transplanting gel to lashes. Step two, immediately apply 3D fibers while transplanting gel is wet. Three, seal the 3D fibers with transplanting gel. Repeat until you've reached desired fullness. All right, so then everything is in this handy dandy sack and it doesn't it doesn't want to come out all right so here is the gel transplant transplanting gel and here are the fiber lashes. So, transplanting gel. Can you, is that upside down? Yeah. Transplanting gel. Oh, come on. Doesn't want to look at you. There you go. And then the fibers. So, transplanting gel, fibers, transplanting gel. So, how did that go? 
Apply an even coat of transplanting gel to lashes. Immediately apply the 3D fibers while transplanting gel is wet. Seal the 3D fibers with more transplanting gel. Okay, I got this. All right, so then transplanting gel is open. My poor laptop has now become a desk. All right, and my mirror has disappeared. I'm a mess. All right, people ask me all the time why I have the same thing. I have two of everything, and I keep telling them because I'm a hot mess. I will set something down, and I will walk away. Every morning, I have two cups of coffee. I have one that I know where it's at, and the other one that I've set down and walked away from and don't know where it is. Like aliens. I think they take it from me. All right, so round one, transplanting gel. Transplanting gel, putting it on the eyes. All right, while it's still wet, we get the fibers. And then repeat if you want to. How's that look? Can you see it? Have I gotten blurry? I do think I've gotten a little blurry. Let's try. That's kind of neat. Like you get the little fibers on there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but. And that's that. Now, I didn't see her say you couldn't brush them so they weren't like sticking together. Okay, can you all see that? I think, maybe if I... So, here's my eye with the eyelashes on it. And here's my eye without the eyelashes, and you can totally tell a difference. That is so freaking awesome. And you know what? My friend Belinda said it would be. Here, how's that? Can you see it better now? There we go. With the 3D eyelashes, without. With, without. Oh, yeah. Don't mind that luggage that's trying to get away from me. <laughs> okay, so now what I want to do is I'm going to try the bottom.
35 minutes later. That is so awesome. See that difference? Yeah. I mean, that's obviously a difference. All right. So I'm pretty sure that the unique people have Merlin working for them. Look at those dishes. Look at those dishes. <laughs> Look at those eyelashes. They are, I mean, just noticeably different. Yeah, I am like so excited about it. I 100% recommend these 3D eyelashes. They are incredible. And the way that the girl was talking about and the video that she had made that I'd watched earlier this morning, um, it sounded like it was going to be a nightmare. Like you had to hurry and do it before it dries. And honestly, this was simple. I mean, of all the things, the blending of the eyeshadow was far more intense than the uh, 3D. But seriously, I am never going to have to buy another set of false eyelashes again, ever. I love it. And I'm going to have to tell my mother about it. If you suffer from thin eyelashes, no eyelashes, whatever, you need to get you some of these. These are awesome. They are awesome. All right. And then last but not least, we are going to do the ombre lip which I did this yesterday just to play with it because I really, really, um, it looks like I'm going to be going to get me a sharpener. I need a sharpener. This is the pompous lip, which, uh, I had me giggling on the other day cause I have no problem calling people a pompous ass now I'm putting pompous on my lips. And I recently read an article that said that your lips are made out of the same skin as your... Give me a little bit more color. And I think, like, the more I look at myself, the more I think I need to, like, pinch my cheeks or something. I definitely need some color in those cheeks. All right, there it is there, finished. I know you can tell like a total difference. I feel confident today. Like I don't feel fake. Like I'm, I don't know, wearing a hundred pounds of makeup. So anyway, I will see you again when I try something new.